Cool, great. All right, uh, I'm gonna get one of these bad boys going because these things, like I said, with the uh, the caramels, the salted mm. caramels, these things are dangerous for my health. Yes. These aren't as a, as dangerous for the reactions though because I can no. I can somewhat talk through these. I can quietly <laughs> eat these. <laughs> Every time with those caramels, you'd be like, you'd be like back here oh, dude. fucking <laughs> opening one. <laughs> and then you go to chew one, and it's like, and you just. You can't talk at all. It sounds like just, a cow chewing cud. It just holds your mouth together, dude. These, you get a little crunchiness, but uh, you're able oh, to talk God. a few seconds in. So. Do you remember... <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. 307 Reacts! Matt! Chris! Yo. On the screen in front of us, it's gonna be a great night for me because we're doing some pop punk stuff. We just did some comedy stuff. We got some other cool stuff coming up tonight that you guys yes. aren't going to see until tomorrow or later this week, and I don't want to give it away. So just, just it's going to be great. Don't worry. Strap in. And uh, so on the screen we have something new. This is a band called Millington. The song is called Hollywood. Mm. Now Chris sent me a clip from Millington. Was it yesterday or two days ago? It, it was whenever I found them. They did. Uh, they did a cover. I did, and I haven't heard the song, but they did a cover of uh, uh, Ocean Avenue by Yellow Card. But they yeah. did it ska. So they did it. They're, they're a ska band. So. If you don't know what ska band is, think Real Big Fish, Mighty Mighty Boss Tones, the impression that I get, those kind of songs where and they have trumpets have and trombones. No idea what those fucking are. Imagine a pop punk band with a horn section. Yeah, with trumpets and trombones, yeah. most mostly. Sometimes some of them have saxophone, but mostly it's trumpets and trombones. Yeah, and uh, it's awesome. It's dope. And there's a there's a dance style that you that you can do. Well, it's not dancing. It's just kind of a, a thing you do when you listen to ska music. It's called skanking. Yep, it's called skanking. Let's go. And it's awesome. And it's just like this cool. I love ska music, man. It just it puts me in a good mood. It's just it's always got like a great vibe to it. It's like yeah. upbeat and fun. And something about the horn section always just makes it seem more like I don't know. It's just fun. It's it's a it's um it's a mosh pit with class. Yep. Okay. That, it, that's, that's a good that's a good way to put it. Yeah. It feels like a mosh pit with class. Think of yeah. Think of a mosh pit with uh, black and white checkered shoes. That's yes. you know. <laughs> a lot of nerds everywhere. Yeah. But a lot nerds of black that like to party. Black okay? frame glasses and black yes. and white checkered shoes, and you pretty much you got it. You're all right. There. Now Chris sent me the uh, yellow card cover of Millington doing doing their thing, and it was ironic because I I have Millington on my Apple Music. I have three yeah. of their songs on my Apple Music. I've listened to them regularly. I, I like them I a had lot. So no idea who they were. Yeah, he like sent them to me, and I was ago, like, oh, so. yeah, I didn't know they did this cover, but yeah, Millington, dude. And actually, my good friend Derek Hepner lives down in Florida, was the first one to introduce me to them. Uh, he sent me a song, and I was like, yeah, I can vibe right. with this. So we're going to check it out. We're going to check out Hollywood. And uh, boys, if you ever come across this, what's up? How's it yeah. going? Cheers from Wyoming. And for the rest of you, welcome in. Uh, yeah. Let's get right into it, shall we? We need some ska in Wyoming. Yeah, we I need know of exactly... Zero. Zero There's fucking bands. There's no here. ska bands in Wyoming. None at all. There's some punk bands that kind of come close, but that's there's no there's no horn sections there's in no them. No horn so. section. They're just punk bands. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into this. Let's get it. Chase your dreams while you're tearing at the seams. Don't fall apart in Hollywood. Hearts that was a sick Martin. Sleeves, I will wear them as I please. Is that blue? Yeah, boys! Let's go! So saxophone, they have a saxophone too. Uh, can I point out the Yeah, sure, we can go back to the beginning. What? Oh. <laughs> sick bass, dude. Oh, dude, all like, their instruments are so dope, man. We, that Blue Martin was super sick. <laughs> the Fender, what is it, a Jaguar bass, I think? Like I okay, I've never recorded horns. Okay, I'd imagine there's there's a technique and trick to recording louder instruments like that. Now, here's the thing I can tell you is bass for whatever reason sometimes is just fucking incredibly difficult to record. Dude, I and make it sound good. This new band that I'm playing drums in, yeah, I am struggling so bad, and mm. I don't get it. I have an Ampeg PF500. The bass yeah. guitar that we're using is an American-made Fender um, uh, Fender P bass. Yeah. It's like from the 90s. It's like mm. the bass guitar. It's yeah. it's what and it's like the bass amp. Yeah. And we're using we're using cab emulators. We're using an Ampeg SVT cab emulator, and it just doesn't 
do the. Th- I don't know why it's not doing the thing. It doesn't come Dude, some, sometimes like, and and then other times, other times for whatever reason, you plug it in and you start playing and it's like, yep, record yep. sounds awesome. Don't even need to touch it. And then sometimes yeah. you plug it in and it's like you can't do enough. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's. I I have found in the little bit that I tried recording on my own back in the day. Is this just wildly unpredictable? Dude, it's straight up. Like, no, straight up. Like, you're it either totally comes on. in and you're like, oh, fuck, you're going to turn that down a little bit. And yep. then it comes in, it's like, fuck, I don't have enough knob to or, go yeah. up. Or there's, or there's not enough like, clarity, or there's way too much clarity, and it's clipping, oh, and God, it sounds dude. terrible. And, like, I, I don't yeah. know. I don't understand it. The bass is recorded perfectly. Yeah, very, very good. The horns are awesome. They're yeah. mixed super well. Just their mix, their mix in general is, yeah, is awesome. so good. Very good. Pay and, attention to that bass line. When we go, and it—that's another thing about ska music too. Typically, their bass players are insane, are pretty fucking wild. So yeah, yeah keep an ear out. Let's go. I want to go back like ten. Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. Perfect. It's a great face tone, dude. Oh, it's so great. That's a, I think he's playing the PRS, the guitar. I'm looking at the frets. I see yeah. little birds on the, the frets. Birds, I think yeah. it's a PRS. I can't tell. I have, I've been lo- I've been trying to look this whole time. Also, right before I stopped there, it lo- it sounded like they were gonna do one of those like uh like one fret walk up things. I don't know what mm-hmm. it is, but I do it a lot in my music yeah. where like you're in a traditional chord mm-hmm. progression and then you add in this weird like suspended note in between mm-hmm. two of the chords and it's like a step. I call I just call it a walk up, but a, yeah. I think there's a technical term for it. I'm just not musically uh uh intuitive enough to know. I well, just I know just... like a lot of bluegrass players that I've watched play in the day, right? When they're just doing their rhythm part while somebody else solos, they'll throw what they call a step note or like an augmented, um, a weird augmented chord or something well, like that. So you're talking about like let's say you're going from G to D and you just throw a little halfway in between yeah. like a little like yeah. a little walk. If I'm going from third fret to fifth fret, yeah. which is like the normal jump, that's like yeah, a third yeah. or whatever, you just you go to fourth fret and then you go fifth fret like it's okay, a, yeah, yeah. like a little yeah, yeah. weird step I, I note. I think it's called there. just a walk. Yeah, okay. Like cool. Great. Down, I nailed it then. It yeah. Up. I know what yeah. I'm talking about. I'm smart. I know music, duh. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a PRS, dude. I yeah. love this microphone. It's you guys look very good. You yeah. look very good on on the on the set, man. You like yeah. Would be dope to see you guys it live. I want to. Yeah. I want to see you live for sure. Uh, oh, dude, Ricky Deschamps. He was the guy in Spokane. He had a ska band. Oh yeah. And dude, his horn section was insane. Killed it. He had like eight players. That's a uh, okay. Just the horn section. Wow. Then he had a couple guitarists, a couple bass players. Really? There was one show. If I remember correctly, I think he had two drummers on one show, and it was. The wildest, because I thought, dude, this is going to be a fucking train. Yeah, game. that's a lot Bro, of stuff. it was the most tight-knit fucking everybody was in the groove. I guess. I'm like, what I the, guess if you're like, going to have two drummers, those two drummers better be so in tune with each, in, in, in time and like 
on the I same page. I think Casey Murata was one of them. Okay, well that's so a, like that that's a good start. Sense. Yep, that's if a good start. If you're the other guy, though, it's like you better keep up. <laughs> yeah. Better learn to keep up. I've seen a couple bands with two drummers before, and yeah. you're you're right. It can go one of two ways. Yeah, it can go incredibly amazingly awesome, mm. or it can go horribly train wreck wrong. Yeah, and. Yeah. More often than not, I would imagine it probably goes train wreck wrong, and that's yeah. why we just stick with one drummer. But for the no, bands that he, can do it, good for them, man. Ricky Deschamps, he was the guy that gave my band the first, like, he introduced us to Wendy, who owned a venue in Spokane. Okay. He was at that mic night. Oh, that okay. You yeah, your 30-second load-in, yeah, load-out thing. So he happened to be there, and he's like, dude, these guys are fucking dope. So he hit us up and was like, hey, like, how long have you guys been playing? We just became a band like three months ago. Yeah, we haven't yeah. played any shows. We haven't. He's like, I know some people. Let me hook you up. Cool, dude. We were Hell like, yeah. okay, cool. And then we come to find out he has a ska band, and then he ended up having a kid, and that just kind of a like, giant oh, ska band this. turns yeah. out. Gee, it's like twenty members in that band. God, but <laughs> it was like. God, dude, his music was so fucking good. I wish he would have done music videos and recordings and stuff. But he like, doesn't have he any was, recordings. No, he ah. was just about the. He, he was kind of like Nixon Rodeo used to be back in the day, where it was like we're just here to play, dude. Okay. Like we're okay. not really looking for anything. Not we're trying just to out to have a good time. Not trying to go like, that route with it. We just want to yeah. get together, play music, and call it a day. Yeah, man, that's yeah. cool. Nothing wrong with that either. But man, I wish there was recordings. Like, Sounds great. Looks yeah. great. You guys are killing it, man. Let's go. And great video, also. Like, oh yeah, very good, dude. Very very good. Well shot. Definitely a PRS. Oh, that was such a sick transition. Oh, okay, all right. Five out of five, all yeah. day, every day, all day. Any anywhere you guys are at, that was <laughs> incredible. The lead singer's range, uh, dude. He has such good so range, good. and I know there's a big. It's almost um, it's got a newfound gloriness to it mm. uh, as far as their lead singer. It's but it's not it's not as nasally. He's actually uh, uh, um, Millington's lead singer actually sounds more like chest heavy. He's not so nasally with it, and that's yeah, good. Yeah, I, I mean he definitely has. Uh, some consonants that he definitely hits on the nasal side yeah. and they're sharp. Yeah. But Newfound it, Glory it sings fits. from right here, dude. Yeah. Like he's singing right <laughs> from in between his forehead. But but like it fits the genre. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. But, and I know there, there's controversy with, with singers with that kind of tonal range. A lot of people are like, oh, he sounds whiny or it's it's a weird high pitched thing that. And it, really, what it comes down to is people just aren't used to that because a lot yeah. of people don't listen to punk rock yeah. regularly. They don't listen yeah. to ska music regularly. But if you are a punk rock listener and like you, the, that's it's kind of everywhere, your. Dude. It's It's all over like, the place. Like yeah. that, that's a, it's a very common thing to have high singers in punk rock. Yeah. And I like it. I've always liked it. But I'm a, I'm oh, a big man. fan of Blink 182 also. So, yeah. and, and Tom DeLonge yeah. kind of sparked that for me, that, yeah. that whole kind of nasally singing thingy. So, no, like the <clears throat> God, dude, they're I'm, just so like. Was it a Fender Jaguar bass or was it a Fender Jazz bass? I, I don't know. I, I, I said know. Jaguar at the top. It might be a Jazz. I'm not super familiar with my basses. I know P bass very, very well. It, I have one sitting I, on the I know the here, headstock but. did say Fender. Yeah, it was, it was definitely it was a, a Fender, but I just but don't like, know if it was know. a Jazz bass or if it was a Jaguar bass. I, 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 I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. I don't know. They, yeah. Regard, it doesn't matter because you crushed it. You played the, I, you played the shit out of that. Thing. I love the whole pre- like I 
was completely not paying attention to the lyrics in the beginning of the song, but as we got through, I started to kind of. I was trying in. to focus on him. Yeah. Um, it's it's very much a, a song about how he feels. He talks about California's a ghost town. Yeah. Get like trying to I get leave? out. Can I get out? Yeah. And it's and it's one of those things you're trying to surround yourself with real people that aren't you know putting on the makeup for the camera and they're not putting on a show for the camera mm. and they're just who they are and yeah. they're not. You know, and he's like, because that's who I, you know, he's like, get get this stuff off of me, yeah, dude. Like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not that person. And like, when you're looking for real friends and real people, your circle gets real small. Oh, big time. And yep. like, it's you're like, there is like, eight hundred thousand people here, and not a goddamn one of them is real. No, like, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> like, they're all putting on a putting on a, some facade to try yeah. and get in front of a camera and 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 get famous somehow. And it, yeah, it's crazy. I I love the. I love the message of the song. I love the song itself. I love them as a group. Dude, the, like, the, the, the little pauses right before the choruses, and then mm. the choruses just keep on slamming, dude. Um, there's, like, little bits of halftime, and then it's just right back into the fast stuff. That the, Everything right up my alley. Screams just God. right up my alley, dude. It's it's so and good. just horns and electric oh, guitars, dude. The mix is fire, too. So dude, you good. guys are crushing it with yeah. the recordings. Very, very well it, put together. If we can go back to that video, I think that yeah. video came out a year ago. Did it? Let's find out. Like, I would love. Might throw an ad at us. Oh, no. Here we go. Yeah, one year ago. And it has almost 70,000 views. Good for you guys, man. And I have 2.5 thousand subscribers. Yeah, 2,500 subscribers and 70,000 views on a video in a year. That's that's actually, that's pretty good, man. For being unsigned, which as far as I can tell, you're unsigned. Maybe you've got a distributor or something. Maybe you've got something now. I don't know. But um, that's pretty damn good for doing all the work on your own. Like, Yeah, dude. The... Nothing. These nothing guys to, need more, man. Go yeah. follow them. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, stoked that you sent me these. I'm stoked that you're stoked on these guys because this is like this is some of my jams, bro. I had no idea this they shit's existed. A, this shit's <laughs> in my Apple Music, bro. I listen to this stuff all the time. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, five out of five, boys. Keep it coming. Um, I'm sure if you guys are cool with it, we will have more of y'all's band yeah. on the screen. We need new stuff, man. We need you guys to come through Wyoming. I know at least a couple of bands that uh, I could get you on stage with for sure. That that would open the bill for you. Um, I, shit, I would open up with my acoustic project. Um, hopefully by the time you guys came through, I'd be a full band and we could just play a show together because that would be super dope. Yeah. But yeah, if you guys are ever coming through Wyoming or surrounding areas, let us know and we will definitely come check out a show because I would be stoked on that, man. Good job, yes. boys. Five out of five. Keep it up. If you guys enjoyed this episode as much as we did, yeah. be sure to leave a thumbs up, smash yeah. that subscribe button, click yeah. the bell, become part of yeah. the notification, notification gang. gang. And we'll see you all next time. Yeah. Bow. <laughs> yeah 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 if sound didn't come through on that i'm gonna i'm gonna burn a building down <laughs> demonetized i'm gonna find the nearest orphanage <laughs> oh my god <laughs> or if you're in wyoming i'm gonna find the find the nearest women's clinic that's right <laughs>